we are now installing decking posts for an elevated deck. The holes have been dug already. In the bottom of the holes I have placed two bricks and I have then put the posts on top of the bricks. You'll see that I've also temporarily put a rail across here that is supporting the post in the correct position. We can now get some post feet in the hole and that will go off and that will hold the post firmly in position. Once you've filled it with post feet and you've wet it, it takes about 10 minutes before it goes fully hard. Because this hole is so large, it's a good idea to put a few old bricks or pieces of stone around the post and that means that you actually use less post feet. So I'm just going to put a couple of stones in the hole and chew in that I don't actually move the post. We can now just check that again using the spirit level to ensure that it is still level. We can now fill the hole approximately a third full with cold clean water. It's now a good idea to put on a dust mask and some safety glasses before you pour in the post creed. If you need more than one bag, you're obviously going to have to wet the post creed again before you put in your next bag. If we give that 10 minutes now to go off, that post will be extremely solid. If you look at the base of this post now, you'll see that it's flat. That can be problematic because the water will well there and it will rot the wood prematurely. So once the base material has gone off, it's a good idea to put some cement on and taper it off at the sides and then any water will not well around the bottom of your post, rotting it prematurely. That will now ensure that any water will not collect around the base of the post, it will run off and soak into the ground around which will prevent the post from rotting.